What do we know about chickens? Hello friends. We just got finished reading our story, Where Do Chicks Come From? by Amy Skolansky. And so I would like to review some of the key points that we found in our story. Vocabulary terms. What names or terms do we use to label chickens? So to begin with, let's talk about some vocabulary or terms which we call our chickens. Does anyone remember what our, what our female or what our adult girl chicken is called? Well, if you said a hen, you are correct. Our hens are actually going to be an adult chicken right around six months of age. And as an adult chicken, she is going to lay an egg. And do you know how many eggs a chicken will lay in a day? Do you remember? She is going to lay one egg a day. And those eggs, she will continue to lay for about 10 months of the year. And after that, she's gonna take a little bit of a break, probably for about a month or two, and then she'll start laying again. And she'll continue to do this um, cycle over and over again for a few years. Does anyone remember what our male chicken or our uh, boy chicken is called? If you said a rooster, you are correct. So our roosters, those are our male chickens or our boy chickens, and they get to be a little bit bigger than our female chickens typically, and they have a lot more feathers on them. So you'll see a bigger tail feather. You might see a lot more bright colors on our rooster than you would typically see our hen. Now, do you remember what is our baby chicken called? Yes, a chick. So our little babies that are gonna come out of our eggs are gonna be known as chicks. Very good. So those are some of our vocabulary terms for what we call our chickens. Vocabulary terms. Fertilized versus non-fertilized eggs. Now let's look at another vocabulary term or let's talk about another one. Do you remember when we talked about in the story fertilized eggs versus non-fertilized eggs? Well, our fertilized eggs are going to be the eggs that will turn into baby chicks if we put them in the incubator or if the mother hen lays on them and keeps them warm. So in order to have fertilized eggs, you need to have the rooster, the boy chicken, and the hen, the female chicken, in the same pen together. Now, how about the eggs that you buy from the grocery store? Are those ever gonna grow or form into baby chicks inside the egg? No, no they are not. So the eggs that our hen lays, she lays one every day, once a day, those are typically non-fertilized and those are the ones we find at the grocery store. That means that there was not a rooster in the same pen with her. So she was kept separate from the rooster. And that way she's still gonna lay her eggs but those are gonna be the eggs that we can eat. They have all the same things inside of the egg that you would find for a fertilized or non-fertilized, but those are the eggs that are safe for us to eat. How long does it take to incubate our eggs? Once we start to incubate our eggs, does anyone remember how long it's going to take for our eggs to be um, inside the incubator before the eggs are going to hatch? It is going to be 21 days or three weeks. So in three weeks, once we set our eggs inside of the incubator, we should have a few baby chicks hatch. Labeling our eggs. Here I have our eggs and I have used a pencil and I have written one through six on the top of our eggs. So when we put them inside of our incubator, we will be able to see which eggs are which. I have also written on there an X on one side and an O on the other side. And this is for when we turn our eggs. And we'll talk about that in a little bit later. But the mother hen would typically turn her eggs with her feet and her beak, but we are going to turn the eggs ourselves inside of the incubator. And so when we look inside of our incubator at one point in the day, you may see the X side facing up. 
And if you look a little bit later in the day, you will see our O side facing up. So that will help us tell that our incubators are turning our eggs properly. Egg candling. With egg candling, this is a special flashlight. You can see here at the end that there's light shining from it. And when we first start our incubation, we can hold our egg up to the light. Now this is gonna be a little challenging to see because it's light in this room. But when we hold this egg up to the, the egg candler, it is gonna shine the light inside of the egg and it actually looks like it's glowing. And right now when we look at this, you shouldn't see anything inside of this egg because nothing is growing. We have not yet set these inside of the incubator. So right now it's going to look very empty. You may see a little bit of a shadow, which is the yolk, that yellow part inside of the egg. But otherwise, this is gonna be empty. But in a few days, we can check back and we'll be able to look inside of the egg and see if something is growing. We'll see a shadow inside of it. So we'll check back in with that later. Egg safety. Now, one other thing I would like to mention about our eggs is that these are only gonna be for uh, our teachers to touch. And if for some reason you ever need to touch an egg, if you're at home, if you're cooking or you're baking, you always wanna make sure you wash your hands before you touch eggs and after you touch the eggs, just so that you are able to keep your hands clean and bacteria free so that you don't get any dirty things on your hands that could potentially make you sick. So we always wanna remember that we wash our hands before and after we touch any type of egg. So coming up next, we'll be able to talk about our incubator and we will be able to set our eggs. See you next time.